A lot of people feel when they come in here, it's more like a hotel really. It just happens to be a hotel that can cater very well indeed for disability. When I tried to hold the guitar upright, the wheelchair would get in the way. So I realised quite early on I'd have to play it flat on my lap. I later found out actually that there's another guitarist called Jeff Healy who plays it like that as well, but not for the same reason. It's often quite difficult to find other musicians in the local area, so it's good. Quite a few of the staff are musical as well, so if they're on shifts then you can have a jam with them. It's such a big place that if you want to gather around with everyone, there's areas to do that. There's the dining area, there's a coffee area, and if not, you can stay in your room, and your room's big enough as well to, to be on your own if that's what you want as well. Alistair can express himself and his music here and uh, close the door and make as much noise as he likes. And it's brilliant. Alistair has a, an older brother, so we had already been through the teenage years with him and realised the importance of allowing that child to perhaps have a tantrum and, and be a teenager. Uh, but it is difficult um, if you are dependent on somebody uh, to, to try and walk out and slam a door when you're in a wheelchair and know that five minutes later you're perhaps going to have to say, please could you come and help me? So it is difficult for these um, youngsters and I think being able to come to Douglas House and get away from your parents and be able to be yourself yeah. must be terrific.